The woman investigator say is responsible for luring a pregnant Benton County woman on Facebook, kidnapping and then killing her, appeared in federal court today. The U.S. attorney saying they believe Amber Waterman committed the crimes in an attempt to keep the unborn baby as her own. As we've reported, the McDonald County, Missouri coroner says Waterman cut the baby from Ashley Bush's body, pretended she had gone into labor, and even held a funeral service for the child that was not hers. Waterman will remain in federal custody without bond. That decision made in federal court today. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson is at the courthouse in Springfield, Missouri with the latest. Today's hearing at this federal courthouse behind me in downtown Springfield, Missouri lasted just about two minutes. And with this being a federal courthouse, no cameras were allowed inside. But I do want to paint for you a picture of what it was like inside the courtroom. A little more than a dozen people attended the hearing. Ashley Bush's fiance was not in attendance. And about 10 minutes before the hearing, Amber Waterman walked through the doors with shackles. The court ruled that there is probable cause, so now the case will go to a grand jury. Now, the judge ultimately ruled that Waterman will be held in federal custody without bond. Now, you may remember, Waterman is accused of not only killing Ashley Bush and burning her body with the help of her husband, Jamie Waterman, but also placing the baby's placenta in her pants after telling EMTs she just had a baby, later naming the baby and holding a funeral for it. And tomorrow we know that Amber's husband, Jamie Waterman, will have his hearing in this same federal courthouse, which should be similar to Amber's. For now, we're in Springfield, Missouri, covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News.